Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is No harvest without love, mercy and compassion. Brothers and sisters, it is God's love that will bring forth the harvest workers and warriors into the fields and on the battlegrounds. It is a love of the Father for all of his creation that will allow the great harvest of the ages to take place. And it is woven into the whole scripture, right from the beginning of Genesis to the end of the book of Revelation. It is all written that it is the Father who is in control and it is his love that will bring forth eternal life. Because of his love for all of us, he has sent his only begotten son so that we can be saved. And now in this harvest time, it's a moment in time when the spiritual completion is almost done. As we say, it will be done around the 22nd of August, completed. And we then enter into the physical manifestation of our destiny and purpose. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you that we need to show forth the principles of heaven in everything what we do. And the principles of heaven are the love, and that is the greatest of them all. The love of God, love, then mercy, and then compassion. You can only set the captives free, the lost sheep, when you have mercy and compassion on them. Not when you go to them and mock them. Not when you scoff over them, when you say to them, oh, you are lost. No, when you show all the love of the Father. Of his creation. And therefore, the Lord is taking us from one understanding to another one, from one revelation to the next one, and from one kingdom purpose to the next. And this wheelchair issue is also showing forth the love of the Father for his creation. Is there not love involved? Is there not mercy involved? Is there not compassion involved? There will be no harvest without love, mercy and compassion. And this love, mercy and compassion is the light, the light of the world that has returned to the earth. And this is, it is a mantle of light that you will carry when you walk in the spirit of Luke 10 as the forerunners of Jesus Christ, before he will come at the end of seals with Mount Zion and paradise. Without love, mercy and compassion, there will be no harvest. Because you will be no better than all the others who are going for strife, fighting with one another. Nation against nation, brothers against brothers and sisters against sisters. You will not be any better. But when you live the principles of the heavens, of love, of mercy, of compassion, then your light will shine as never before. It is... These principles that distinguish us from the world, from Babylon, and from the churches. Because many churches have gone away from love, mercy, and compassion, and have become money-making machines, have become worldly entertainment places with idle shepherds. Therefore, the Lord has called forth a remnant a remnant of powerful warriors and harvest workers that will physically manifest into their destiny now to bring forth the light and to live the principles of heaven of love, mercy and compassion. Think about it. What does it mean, the love of God? What does it mean to have mercy on someone? Mercy, even if he's a great sinner, Jesus showed mercy on all of us by taking away our sin on the cross. And compassion for the suffering of people. 
this is the issue of the wheelchair, compassion. Brothers and sisters, show great compassion when you step forward. This is the issue. Live the principles of heaven now. You are spiritual complete, almost spiritual complete now. You must feel it in your, in your body, in your soul, in your mind and in your heart that you need to walk with love, mercy and compassion. As a true ambassador of the kingdom of heaven, a representative of the Father here on earth, as true sons and daughters of the Most High, you must represent these principles. You cannot be a, a, a bad mouth person, and you cannot be a, a person that say, ah, I don't care about other people. You can't. No harvest worker will have such an attitude. Or thinking, oh, I'm okay and the rest I don't care. No. You must live and show forth for all to see the principles of love, mercy and compassion. Only then a great harvest can be brought in. Only then the multitude clothed in white can be gathered. I know this is not what the churches are teaching, but this is the truth revealed by the Holy Spirit and by the court of heaven. All of them, all the churches say they are co heirs with the Son. But they are so far away from his attitude. They are so far away from his way of life. When he was here, he showed forth love, mercy, and compassion to so many, actually to all at the cross. And the churches are so far. How can they claim to be even close to him or to be a co heir with him? if they do not belong to the royal household. And if you belong to the royal household, as a true son and daughter of the Most High, then, brothers and sisters, you must live the principles of heaven. There will be no harvest without love, mercy and compassion. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.